Welcome back to Fox Hit, I'm Charles Verhey. A few weeks ago, Sony had a little bit of an accident, and some of their secrets that were not intended for the public leaked all over the internet. And all of this because of a Sharpie. So how in the world did this happen and how could it have been prevented? Now later on, I'm gonna be joined by Greg Salas from IDOX AI. And they're a company that specializes in data privacy and compliance and smart redaction. But before that, I'd love to give you some of my thoughts and kind of fill you in on what exactly is redaction, uh, who uses this, and what happened at Sony that got them on the news and not in a good way. First, let's take a quick look into what exactly is redaction. The simplest short version of a redaction is simply to remove information from a document, uh, such as personal information, to protect it from being abused by other people. Now, if you've ever seen a spy thriller or one of those action movies or TV shows uh, that have a lot of uh, cloak and dagger, then you've probably seen these documents before. They're the ones that have black bars over certain words, and these black bars represent information that has been removed from the document in order to protect someone's personal identification. Redaction is used by all sorts of different organizations and companies. Now, it's used by law enforcement. Uh, it is used by healthcare in order to protect people uh, according to HIPAA laws and regulations. It is used by education, government, the financial districts, transportation authorities like the TSA. It's even used by call centers and legal agencies to protect things like credit cards and driver's license numbers and birth dates and addresses from getting out into the public. And it is used by media and entertainment in order to protect certain information that they don't want out into the public. Which brings us to what happened recently over at Sony. This is where the fun begins. Now, as part of the FTC versus Microsoft hearing, Sony supplied a document from PlayStation chief Jim Ryan that included redacted details on the margins Sony shares with publishers, including its Call of Duty revenues, which is one of their most popular games to date, and even the cost of developing some of Sony's own games. Now, whether Sony themselves, or perhaps the legal team that was representing Sony, uh, is at fault here, it doesn't actually state that in the article, but you can pretty quickly and obviously see what went wrong. You see, it looks like somebody redacted all of these documents with a black Sharpie. <laughs> and then when they placed these documents on a scanner and light shone through the document, suddenly all of the information that they thought was concealed was perfectly visible. <laughs> Serious? Now, obviously, the courts scrambled as fast as they could to get this information removed from the internet, but unfortunately, the damage was already done because the internet moves very, very quickly. Reporters, Sony's competition, uh, and just people who were interested in following this case on the internet had already downloaded all of the documents while they were available in the public domain, and it began posting everywhere. No, God, please, no, no! Now, among other information that was also included and leaked in this document, the most valuable piece of information was how much money Call of Duty was worth to PlayStation. And this had a direct impact on the FTC versus Microsoft court case that was going on uh, in regards to Microsoft purchasing and acquiring Activision. So as you can imagine, it was just this big mess and we kind of wanted to get a little bit more information about this and we also wanted to know how do you prevent something like this from happening? Joining me now for a deeper look is Greg Salas from IDOX AI, a company that specializes in data privacy compliance and smart redaction. Greg, thanks so much for being with us today. Well, thank you for having me. All right, so first question I have to ask is, how does something like this even happen? So basically what happened in this situation is um, if you use a Sharpie to redact, it's going to probably have a slightly different tone than the actual like printed word. And so when it's uploaded uh, into a, you know, a, a, a file format, the, um, but basically what happens an OCR, like some using OCR can actually look at this and see that the separation of the, the, two, the two tones of black. And so what's happening here is people are able to do that and be able to see basically what was underneath that re supposedly redacted document. And even though visually it looks like it's been redacted, so like, you know, you look at it on, on, the, on the screen or you look at it on a piece of paper, it looks like that's been redacted, but it has not, even though you, you, your eyes are telling you it has been, but it really hasn't. And so there's their software and people can pull that out of there and see what's beyond behind that black blacked out area. 
That makes sense. I think the、uh, the human eye can only see so many colors, and、uh, I imagine、right. a computer could probably see a lot more and and pull that out, especially when there's、yeah. light shining right through the paper. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You would think that a tech giant like Sony、uh, would be using something with more technology, you know, something a little bit more advanced than、uh, than just a Sharpie. Which is no offense to Sharpie. I mean, they're they're a great company and all, but I just don't. Oh, I love them really, too. Yeah. Probably not the best thing for redactions. No. No. I mean, honestly, working on docs, we have software that will you know pull out any hidden hidden data or metadata out of the back of, of the redacted document. And so, using a sharpie is is old school, but with modern technology, it's not going to work very well. And so, and, and also, you'll see other examples of this in, in, for other companies.、Um, like years ago, it was、uh, Apple and Samsung. There was a lawsuit with with those two companies, and this well, was, was a case、thing? where was it, it the Sharpie again, or wasn't a Sharpie? So this was a different situation. Basically, what happened was very similar, where people were able to take the document and pull out the information because it wasn't redacted properly. And in this situation, it was actually using like a、uh, word processor, like、uh, software package, like、uh, Word Word Doc. And what they did is just put a little box around each word. And doing that, you're, you're basically just black, blacking out the background. But a simple copy and paste into another text editor will pull out that information. So I do a lot of graphic design.、Uh, so I'm familiar with layers, and you know, putting something on top of something else, like. <laughs> taking a word document and then drawing、right. a box over the top, and I know those layers behind it still exist. So yes,、uh, I imagine it's 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 much the the same way.、Uh, what are the consequences of this? Like what what could happen if I had a legal document and I redacted it very poorly, and that information leaked?、Uh, what what、uh, what could happen? Yeah, well, I think like for attorneys in court case, I mean, they sign documents saying you know that they they approve this release, and so if it's not redacted, they're you know they could be fined by the court for re- revealing this information or sued. And so I think for、um, the case with、um, Samsung and Apple, I think Samsung ended up, I think it cost them about two million dollars in fees and for the attorneys and them、um, for not properly redacting the document. So. There, are, there. Are, I mean, sometimes you can have these, maybe you know, situations where it's not harmful, just maybe embarrassing for some people. But a lot of times it's harmful because you're exposing, you know, you could、uh, like social security numbers or home addresses of famous people and our politicians, and they don't want that out there. And so there's cases where that's happened also. So it's not only you know embarrassment, but it also can cause other issues. So we've gone through sharpies, and we know that's. Not a great way to redact anything, and we you know Microsoft Word is probably not the best. So,、um, I guess walk me through it. What is a proper way to redact a document in such a way that you know this information is not going to leak? It's not going to get all over the the internet. Yeah. So the the best way is is using like our our, our software package where it's it's going to go to the document. And, and find all all the sensitive information. So it actually has AI technology. So that's another thing that can happen: is people, if you're doing it by hand, especially, you're not gonna, you might miss, you know, key things you're looking for. You might miss a social security, you might miss some, you know, PII data somewhere on that document. And so having an AI technology that can go through the whole document for you and find all the, the like social security numbers and identify them is step one, right? You want to be able to Identify what you're looking for in a very methodical way, where it can go through the document and find all that information. And then once it finds it, it needs to be able to redact that and not have like what you said layers. It needs to remove that off the document so it's not there. And so that's what our technology does too. So it's, there's no metadata on the document. It's, it's once it's redacted, it's it's not there. Even if there's no way to play with it, remove the layer, copy paste, hold up to the light. You know, there's no way to find that. <laughs> Right. That information—it's it's been redacted for good. That makes sense. That makes sense, and、uh, I, I like that you're using AI. I know how easy it is when you're looking at a document to just skim over something because you've seen it repeated a dozen times. Human error is, is an issue, so having a software package that can go through that and find all of it for you. <laughs> And it's, it's a better way to do it. It's more efficient too, and it just saves you time. I mean, literally, 
reduce your reduction time by 95% if you use this automated process to do it. So for everybody watching who would really just rather avoid this same situation happen right. to them or something even worse, uh, how can people get a hold of this tool for themselves? Yeah, I mean, you can go to idocs.ai and we have a free, right, we're going on right this month, uh, it's a free trial for seven days. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you love it, you can keep going forward. Um, once this, our free trial ex expires, it's 99 cents uh, for the free trial for seven days and you can try our technology. And if you love it, it just you could roll into a monthly or yearly plan. I'm so glad that you were here to help us with this and explain all this. So thanks so much for joining. Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed being here. So those are our thoughts on the matter. But now I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you leave some comments down below. Let us know. Have you been following this case? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Also in the comments, let me know. Are you familiar with redaction? Have you ever used it before? Are you like me and the first time you ever even heard this term, it was actually in the movie Good Morning Vietnam with Robin Williams? Whatever your thoughts, whatever your questions, make sure you leave them down there in the comments below. As always, I have links to everything that we talked about down in the description below. So make sure you scroll down, check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. Like the video because it really helps out the algorithm and it makes us all feel good. I appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.